We use block templates in RISE 360 to build more efficiently and consistently. Let's take a look at how they work. If you have blocks of content that you want to reuse, you can go into your All Blocks library and, using the Block Templates menu, save those blocks for later. You can see from my Block Templates menu that there are also templates other people on my team have saved and shared with me. To create a new template, select the New Block Template button at the top of the menu. You then choose which blocks you want to save. Next, you get to give your block template a name, and you can also decide whether or not to share it with your team. Don't worry, you can always rename the block template and change your mind about sharing with your team later. After saving your block template, you can then quickly and easily insert the saved blocks into the same lesson, into a new lesson as I'm doing here, or you can even add them into a completely different course if you would like. In other words, block templates are not course specific and can be added into any existing courses or future courses you build. If you need to change the name of the template or the sharing setting, use the pencil icon to do so. There's also a trash can icon if you'd like to delete it. Hopefully using block templates will make your RISE 360 course building a little easier and also provide you with a simple way to move content if necessary.